Hey, performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I have a SIBO Automatic X7 to show you. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you how to assemble it. Then I'm going to show you its quirks, its features, kind of its use casage. And we're gonna do some pickup tests and some suction tests as well with this unboxing and give you a, a sample of what it sounds like with the studio microphone. So stay tuned. So if you're unfamiliar with SIBO, SIBO is a German vacuum manufacturer and you have probably seen a version of a machine like this on the made cart in your hotel. This is their product they're probably most known for, which is the X-Series machine, which automatically adjusts to different carpet heights. Also their flagship machine. Now the box is nice, it's got the SIBO logo. We have kind of some color options and just like a picture of it. And the carrying handle is also kind of a nice touch so you could carry it home. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Right away, we are greeted with the SIBO logo. Right here, we have a advertisement for their carpet cleaning and some fresh tabs. These are some citrus fresh tabs, they smell good. The carpet cleaning stuff also smells pretty good and can be used with this machine. So I'll have to demonstrate that in another video, but you can use this for dry carpet cleaning. Right away, we are greeted with something only the Germans could do, which was to pack something so nicely and so beautiful. So I'm gonna start just pulling the parts off. I'm gonna pull the hose and wand out. The styrofoam. The machine comes packed in yet more styrofoam. So I like that. Got the head of the machine or the cleaner head right here. And, oh, I thought this was gonna be black. This is the nice industrial gray color they have. Man, um, all right, that is cool. Not what I was expecting, but very cool. We'll talk about the features of this in a second. And you have the body of the machine right here. Let's go ahead. We will just pull this out. Again, very cool gray color. We have an extra bag, a dusting brush, a manual, that's nice, and a cap to seal the bag. All right, here's everything you get in the box. The cleaner head, the body of the machine, an extra bag, and just so you know, the body of the machine does have a filter and a bag installed. You have the handle, the manual, a dusting brush, dusting brush holder, a wand, and a hose, and a nice cord. Let's go ahead and assemble it. So the first thing we're gonna do is attach the body to the cleaner head. Well, I guess I should mention there's an upholstery tool and a crevice tool right here as well. So that's just gonna slide in here. There's no tools required for this. Make sure all the styrofoam is clear as well. So you're gonna push that until you hear the click. And that has clicked into place. This button right here is the release button if for some reason you need to release the body. All right, let's go to the handle and the wand. So what you wanna do is grab a Phillips number two screwdriver you don't need to remove the screw all the way. You just want to loosen it. Probably two to four turns. And then when we put this on, I'm just going to slip this on over here. Again, just slip it. Slide it. I like to do about halfway up, but really dealer's choice as long as it's above the red mark. And then you're just going to Tighten that up, not too tight. It's about three turns. And put the dusting brush on. So the handle, you wanna insert it. And I like to just kinda push down on the handle. And you'll see that there's a tab right here, that what, whatever you call this knob. And then you just do that, and again, all attached. Next, we're going to attach the hose and the cord and the cord will wrap 
around right here. And then we'll release by rotating that. I'm gonna pull the plastic off this. Really do give you a nice long crevice tool. You're left with this. And the first thing you're gonna do is take the black end of the hose and insert it. There we go. Then you're gonna take the hose and insert it into the wand after you've installed the wand. When you insert the wand, there's a tab on the top here. And occasionally what happens is people will not put this in, attach the tab. You must push this straight down so that the tab and the wand are mated together. Now the hose should just drop in with gravity. And you're assembled. So let's talk about controls. So first of all, one of the reasons people buy this is it's really simple. It just has an on and off switch. That's pretty much the only control that you're gonna use besides the handle release right here, which the machine will lie all the way flat. It's one of the lowest lane uprights on the market and just locks up. Now, this mechanism might look a little bit weird. I don't recommend you do this repeatedly, but if you abuse it, no harm done to the mechanism. And that's something they designed in conjunction with the feedback they've gotten from previous models. Really a cool feature of SIBO is that it's almost impossible to break that handle release. You know, you have a carrying handle right here, so if you need to carry it right here where the cord hook is, you can do so. There is another one right here as well, so you can carry it like so if you need. Now this model has the boost button. I'm not really sold on the boost button, guys. The boost button lowers the automatic height this adjustment just a little bit more. I don't personally see a reason for that, but it was something they added with the last run of the X4, and they've continued it to the X7. Other thing about this is there's a button right here, which I will go ahead and push for you folks. And when we push that, this opens up, give it a half turn, and you can pull the brush roller out. How cool is that? That makes maintenance super easy. Put the brush roller in, half turn, and then the cap, just uh, basically put in there, line everything up. Once it's lined up, I like to hit it. And it goes right back into place. Other thing going on right here, is there is the bag door. This opens up and we have the bag. The bag is, pull these little tabs out, change the bag. When you get a new bag, you'll notice that there is this green tab that's to seal it up so you're not breathing the dirt. Now, if you try to put this on without the bag, it is not going to work. You must have a genuine bag in there for this to work. And I'm gonna emphasize on genuine. So not only do the genuine filter, SIBO bags filter better and make your motor last longer, but they're also the right fitting for this mechanism here. I recently saw an X1 come in for service 20 years later, and this mechanism had been bent from them using generic bags. So understand that's another danger with generic bags is you can actually break the bag dock. And that was something that kind of surprised me when I saw it. So always use genuine bags. The filter, there's a little tab, you just pull it off, and you see, again, it's not gonna let you shut or run the machine without the filter. This little metal gizmo springs down, and then you just uh, move it out of the way and just slide the filter in. Easy enough. So it's really easy to get to the bags and the filters with this machine. These bags are fairly large. You're not going to be replacing these all the time. You're gonna replace these like once a month, maybe longer, depending on your use caseage. On the front of the unit, right here, we have a set of idiot lights. We have check bag light, also, if you get a blockage, that will turn on. You have the indicator lights that indicate if it's adjusting. Um, and then there's a indicator, change the brush roller. So when the brush roller wears out on this vacuum, it'll actually tell you. Now, some of the additions to the X7 versus the older X4 models is we have a rubber bumper and a headlight.
They've also focused a little bit more on dust emissions than previous models. So this cover, man, that's cool, um, comes up and then you can pull off the exhaust filter. And the exhaust filter looks like a little bag. You get more surface area than a corrugated filter by doing that, I believe. All that just snaps back into place. That's really cool. That is a big improvement from previous models. On the bottom side, you have a soft rubber wheel going down the middle of the wheel. You have a clean out door. So if something were to get jammed in here, you can clean that out. We have a squeegee here, which is user changeable as well. Then of course we have the middle wheel that self adjusts. And you have a metal plate for grounding. There are ingest bars on this as well. So really you do want to take the roller out when you clean it. The machine of course is made in Germany, it says right there. Really a nice sleek addition and a big improvement versus the older style machines they've made like this. All right, folks, I've thrown down some fresh pet hair and some breakfast cereal. Let's see how it picks up. You might have also noticed the tone of my voice has changed. We're going to be using a studio microphone, so you're going to hear the real sound of the machine. Now, please bear with us. You're going to hear the furnace and the heater in my house going off. I have hydronic heat, so you hear that in the background. It is blizzarding right now in my current location, so please bear with me with the high noise level here. handled that with ease, but that's what I expect from Seabell. All right, folks, I'm going to show you how this machine works going from an area rug to hard floor. I've got some pet hair. I've got some breakfast cereal. Let, let's see how it does. not been the best thing to show that because this thing does have enough airflow it seems to suck the pet hair we don't see anything here it does seem to pick up on hard floor let's see what it looks like from behind so in the past I've been really critical with machines that you can not shut off the brush roller for hard floor just because this is a SIBO that means it's going to get any different treatment let's see what happens A little bit of breakfast cereal, little chunk of it left behind, but almost nothing. As far as machines that leave the brush roller on for hard floor, this one probably cleans the best out of all of those. It's much better than say the Auric or the Royals or some of those. I still prefer my brush roller off on hard floor, but that squeegee on the bottom of this machine and the way that it automatically adjusts all the way down does make a huge difference. I wouldn't, again, want this for delicate hard floor either. This is really something you'd use on tile or some sort of engineered floor. All right, let's see how much working vacuum the SIBO X7 has. Looks like the SIBO X7 gets 60 inches sealed and about 31 inches working. A little bit less 
than some of their other lineup. For instance, the lesser priced Sibo Dart gets about 45 inches of working vacuum in 60 sealed, so it appears the more expensive vacuum is not more powerful. My final thoughts on the Sibo X7 is that it's a big improvement over machines of the past, but it's for a very specific use case scenario where somebody only has carpet or almost no hard floor. Definitely not for somebody who has delicate wood floor and carpet and constantly switching in between. However, if you did have a lot of different types of carpets, this would be a good machine for you as well. Or if you had a maid who you didn't want to have to train on how to use the vacuum, this would be an excellent choice as well. Of course, I would recommend you go to your local SIBO dealer to purchase one of these or any SIBO products. You'll get a longer warranty and a better price than you would online. Thanks for watching, folks. Please subscribe and have yourself a wonderful day.